Man, I got a problem. S23 Ultra. All new. Design this this feel in the hand. It's a lot boxier. More squared off edges. Less likely to maybe roll out of your hand compared to the S22 Ultra. But really digging it. Really digging it. It's a very nice look to the, the back and the the cameras are not substantially bigger, but pretty decent compared to the S22 Ultra and definitely to the Z Fold 3. This is the, the Z Fold 3 that is getting ready to be sent back and traded in. The S23 Ultra looking pretty good. So another thing here, so uh, this guy has a SIM tray. I'm shooting this video with the iPhone 14 Pro Max and it does not have a SIM tray. That's already an obsolete thing with Apple. And I'm gonna be honest with you, straight up off the rip with this, going from an iPhone 14 Pro Max that's recording this to using that device for the last five months, six months, the 13 Pro Max before that, going back into an Android platform is a nice treat because things move a lot faster in this world. There's a lot more going on and it's it's pretty neat i like it a lot of different different stuff the s pen i'll have to play around with that a little bit more because even with my s22 ultra which my wife is still using and really enjoys that and i couldn't get that phone out of her hands if i wanted to which I wouldn't, it's a great device. The S22 Ultra is already great, and the S23 Ultra, we'll see. Just a little bit of playing with it has already got me. So, we'll see. The Z Fold 3 is out. Gonna get this sent back to T-Mobile, and um, this will be a thing of the past now. What? was the the breaking the ice for the Z Fold 3 for me. Battery life. And not that I was worried about breaking it, but it wasn't dust resistant and I work in the mill industry and I just really did not like taking that to work a lot because I didn't want to get it covered in the in internals of the phone with dust. and saw dust and things like that but it's kind of a novelty i mean not in the sense now that they've got it designed so good that it is reliable and it's a very strong device i'm not telling you to not buy the the folds i love mine it's a it's a great phone but i need a phone that can make it through the day on one charge maybe two days that would be like even better my Apple Watch Ultra, my iPhone 14 Pro Max, they make it through a day, no problem. If I get home from work and I really don't play around a lot, I would still have 30, 40% in the morning if I didn't charge and would be starving a little bit into my next day. But with the Z Fold 3, it just is not happening for a full day, period. Um, really like the experience the fold is great the screen i don't mind the crease it's none of that it's just for me it's kind of a novelty if you're using a phone a lot for traveling which i was at one point and maybe you're camping or on the go a lot and you need a big screen on the fly and you don't mind the weight 
that's a huge thing too with the fold is that when you put a screen protector or not a, not just a screen protector but when you put a case on it depending on i have like five different cases that i had for this phone i to find something that protects it adequately that's not too thick i would really really recommend for the the z fold line speaking and their thin liquid armor thin armor cases those are really good but if you go like uag they just like their cases make it so bulky that to carry it is you could beat somebody's ass with the phone like it's it's just too much like if you work and you're an active person and you work in an industry where you have to move around the footprint in your pocket you, like if you have to design your your outfits or your your shorts or your pants to outfit this device which the, the z fold is not that big you know what i mean it's not that thick really i mean but it is comparative you know what i mean comparative to the s22 ultra or the s23 ultra It's like a whole nother fucking phone excuse my language but to put a case on that phone on, on the z fold to put a case on this and put it in your pocket you got a brick man i'm telling you you could beat somebody's ass they pull up on you you could just pull this thing out with the uag case that i have and it would probably survive it a, a good two or three whacks but nevertheless the battery won't make it through a day for me and i'm not and i don't have the time to just be going and plugging things that uh, I just I don't have the time I, I start my shift I make sure my batteries are good on my earbuds I make sure that they're good on my phone and my watch and we get to going and that's it you know what I mean and I really with Apple lately I just a couple of days and then I worry about it again charging that is I don't keep cords around. I don't keep. I got a pair of JL um, cheapo earbuds that I keep at work. Those things, I've glued them back together like twice, and the batteries last for like a week and a half for whatever reason. I wear them for like four or five, eight hour shifts, it seems like. I mean, I don't get me wrong, I'm putting them on the charger randomly here and there. I put them back on their base when I'm going. I'm going to kick a video to those earbuds those uh those earbuds the jl's are really really good if you guys are looking for an affordable fit pair of jl or any earbuds or my wife i bought her a pair of the jl um wireless headphones too and those are really good and very good quality you guys check out jl i'm not sponsored by them or any of that shit i'm just telling you what works for me speaking is another great company the S23 Ultra, I got this, this Spigen, what is this, the Galaxy Edition 01. I've seen it on YouTube. It's, I'm not the first to do this, and I'm not going to be the last, but that's, I like Spigen for my Android and for my Apple devices. I have like four or five of those Spigen cases for the Z Fold 3, and I have... The Apple, the iPhone 14 Pro Max here that's recording this video, I got it in a, a genuine Apple silicon case in which I have a genuine Samsung silicon case for my new S23 Ultra because I like the way that those feel. I'm really not into this thick stuff, you know what I mean? This is good good protection or whatever, but I'll, I'll have to show you the other case that I got. I don't have it down here with me, but, you know, it's got some pretty cool stuff. It shows the... The charging port down there and stuff like that but i'm not into the really thick cases by the time you put your phone in that it becomes it, it's a whole thing it's a whole thing is the bigger these screens get the, the thinner they need to make them because when they're in your pocket if it's a thick freaking phone like this the z fold 3 it just makes it for a lot to carry. But that's my opinion. You guys leave some comments 
subscribe and let me know what you feel. Appreciate you.